scripting tutorial, black and white 2, let's do it. So, you want to do a give item script, let's just start off with this example, uh, gate, you got two people here, two scripts, you got the gatekeeper, and then you've got the billboard. So now you've got to decide which one am I going to edit. You're not going to edit the billboard, are you? So you're going to have to edit the, uh, the gatekeeper herself. In the DS games, you've got text stored in one file and the script stored in another file. It's not all packed together into just the ROM randomly, so you have to find out where exactly you're getting it from. This is all stored in the map header file, which uh, with this script you can uh, see which file it is. So right now I just write down which script and text file are used. And then with this other Lua script, I can then see what kind of is happening on this map based on the script file. So just quickly looking at the script file, it's pretty obvious that the lady uses the second script and the billboard uses the first. So we're ready to start. We'll first make a copy of our uh, ROM, just give it a proper name. Next you're going to want to pull out the text file and script file for the game so that you can edit it. So we're first going to extract the uh, text file which is in 003 and we'll just place it in the folder and next we're going to pull out the scripts file which is 056 and we'll also put it in the same folder. Next we'll just add the NARC file extension so that the programmers will recognize them. NARC files are basically just zipped up folders of stuff, so we're going to want to extract all of these scripts, which are just individual files, by using editor.exe, which is just QEDS, and we're just going to extract every single one of them. Alright, let's close out of everything and then go to the uh, script file that we want to edit. That's uh, script file uh, 266, which is 6 underscore 266, so we're going to open that in our hex editor of choice. So there's two scripts inside this file, and I'll highlight one of them, and there's just two. So one's one and one's the other, and we're just going to edit the second one, which corresponds to the lady. So right now I'm just going to visually separate the uh, script file so we can see what each command and all the parameters are, just to match up with the uh, Lua script's output. Let's go ahead and make it nice and neat. Okay, now let's get rid of this double zero pad, which is just not needed. I'll get back to that at the end. Now that everything's nice and neat, we can see that all scripts with NPC start off with the uh, locking everything, playing a sound, which is a clink, and facing the player. Then you have a message which you're going to have uh, just the usual constants and then you're going to have the message ID which is just the first line and then you have after that the uh, anchoring and the message type then you're going to on a key press close the message then give an item next then once you give your item you're going to have a message at the end which is just going to be the same format with just the next line which is message one with the same anchoring and close the message on a key press then once that's done, you're going to wait a moment, release everything, and end the script. So that's what happens at the end of pretty much any NPC interaction script. Now once we're done with that, we have to actually define what give item is. So let's create a little space for ourselves here. In Gen 3 scripting, give item is pretty much abbreviated in any program, so we're going to have to actually program it out in hex. Give item requires you to use variable 0 and variable 1 and you're going to have to uh, set those up with the 09 command and once you have the 09 command set up you're going to have to actually def give them the variables a value so the first variable is defined to be the item and the next variable variable 1 is defined to be the quantity that you're going to give so once you have the variable I mean, the variable set up with the item and quantity you're going to want to call the script that actually gives you the item and plays the message that you received an item so the 1C line reads, uh, 
call standard function or secondary function 0 a f5 which is just give item and just the variables that we have and we're going to send off variables 1 and 0 to do the work so now that we're done with that we can then choose on what item we're actually going to give and how much let's just do a rare candy and a quantity of one so with the script you have a start a message give an item message and then end so our script is done we're going to collapse everything just so we're ready to paste it into our hex editor. And we're just going to overwrite the lady's script completely. When editing the script file, you've got to be careful on making sure that the total file size is divisible by 4. So you're just going to have to make a either a 0, 0 pad or not. So we're going to do save our changes, and we won't have to put it back in into the NARC with a NARC file replace. Select file 266 because that's the one we edited, and then we're going to press OK and save our changes. Next, we're going to have to actually assign the messages that we're going to use. So we're going to open ppdxt and go to the text file that's used for the map. And then we're just going to give it whatever text we want. So, as we previously noted, we're on text file 152, so let's go see has. And now we just replace each line with whatever text we want. So the first line is line 0. Just, that's our introduction. Here, take this rare candy. And then once we're given the rare candy, say that's the departing text, whatever. Since we're not using any flags or detection if we gave out a rare candy already, we're just going to let them give out as many as the player wants, just one at a time message will reflect that. So you gotta save the text and then write the data to the NARC so it can just update your changes and be able to see everything back. So once you did that, your three NARC, which is the text, is updated and both your three NARC and the six NARC are in and you can see everything back in the ROM. So you know open up back up Nitro Explorer 2B and insert both of the NARCs in their proper position. Inserted properly, you can then start your ROM on your emulator and be sure that you have the anti piracy code active and that you have the save file properly loaded. So we're just going to enter the AR code for anti piracy so I don't get any freezes. And you just start the game and see the fruits of your labor. So yeah, that's basically it. So just to check, we'll see what the Lua script says our script reads like. And so we'll reload it, and then we get to see, hey, it's exactly as we programmed it in Hex. So that's how it works. And that's it. Thanks for watching.